Two unemployed actors. Two unemployed actors. They're just between projects. Welcome back to Two Unemployed Actors. I'm Max. I'm Sam. And great show for you today. Of course. When isn't it? It's, it's always never great. not. <laughs> I'll give you a rundown on my wonderful TVC. A whole mm. half a day filming three three different. I saw bits the insurance one. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. The uh, life insurance. <clears throat> Very exciting topic. Um, difficult to make it sound interesting, as you say the line over and over and over. Acting. Acting. <laughs> such as life. Um, what have you been up to? Ah. Oh. Not much. No, I've been... <laughs> <laughs> Sleeping I've been, in? No, life's, COVID life. life's pretty good, actually. I, I, so, obviously, you know, I have an almost full-time job, so I'm working a lot now. Your survival job, yep. Exactly, and, and earning some money, so I feel comfortable. Um, and I've been improving with Grant, and I've been learning more monologues, and I'm that's feeling great. more relaxed and calm. Because I think that's a challenge sometimes when survival job kicks in, mm. to be able to maintain that work fitness when it comes to acting yeah but if you've got grant and, <laughs> kicking your ass all the time exactly. brilliant and actual fitness so i do push-ups <laughs> at work when it's quiet that's brilliant that's good i did 130 today that's just, just bragging <laughs> were they real ones though yeah proper what are, yeah straight of course they were on your knees who do you take me for <laughs> um <laughs> yes and also good news Yes. Exciting news. news we can do that finally mm-hmm. not today short film yes is being like kind of up like not uploaded, but like kind of released. Well, he's saving it as a Premiered. MP4 file, and it's taking two days to save or something. My God! Yeah, that's uh, two, or th- two to three days. Is he on dial up or um, and okay. He's, so, so the cinematographer's doing it because he edit he edits as well. Right. Uh, his name's Sam as well, and he so he's doing it in his room on his computer and everything, mm-hmm. and he's putting it on a hard drive and all that With stuff. His amazing software. Yeah, but it's because it's such a big yeah. 4K file. Yeah. The, it's like oh, like the whole time, and he has a ear, he, he, uh, like uh, earplugs in at night when he's sleeping. Yeah, because it's going to take three days. Oh, <laughs> but it's my so exciting! God. That's hilarious. It's so exciting! Hopefully, the trailer is coming out soon as well. He said, "Awesome!" So everyone, look forward. I'm going to start promoting that even more as it kicks off as well. Totally. We no, we look forward because we've heard so much it's been about a it. Year almost. It's about bloody time. Just yeah. just quietly. But yeah, that's about that's about it really. I've, okay. I mean, I'm happy. It's good. Happy is good. In this Working corona is world, good. like um, it's, you know. It's oh, still, I know. What you, Freddie, Fred, let him let him speak. Rah. He's trying to get in between you and the microphone, which can be rather interesting. Hello. Yeah. He's like, Fred, yeah. he's not talking to you. He's talking to he's talking to everyone. Okay, well that's good. That's good. So everything's sort of gelling into place. You're forming a sort of a routine yeah. between survival and acting. And it's it's good. And I'm I'm trying. I'm gonna try uh, uh, producing more music and stuff. I'm gonna oh, look cool. up some stuff and do it because we got a mic and everything. So yeah. Yeah, you're, and, and you've got that. your YouTube channel with Jess. Yes, we've been a bit lazy on that one. Mm-hmm. It's hard, isn't it? You've got to maintain content, especially like now with a with a job yes. and stuff. But um, yeah, no, it's been good, and I've been practicing monologues, and I can feel my chest resonance coming in more now, okay. and feeling more relaxed. It is good when it all comes together. Yeah, yeah, I'm just feeling quite content at the moment. I think that's a good word to content. Wow, content. don't get too comfortable. Know, Kick you out gonna, of the comfort yeah, zone. I know, I know. I'm not, no, not like, not like comfortable because I know I have to keep working, but like I feel content. Yeah, and, and at least, at least working with an acting coach, you know, you're not going to get in that comfort zone. You're going to be kicked yeah. out of it pretty. Oh quick, yeah, and which, I think he's, good. he's. I'm so glad I'm with him and not doing like a ten billion dollar course. Oh, I for mean, one day seriously, yeah. There's so many courses, even in COVID times. Mm. There's so many opportunities to part with your money as an actor um, yeah. in Sydney, and I'm sure yeah. it's anywhere else in the world. You know, yeah. where there's a more than a couple of actors because it's just, it's, yeah. It's, yeah. <laughs> At the it's moment, so, yeah. it's making money out of actors. Uh, no. You know what I mean? Such because there's not a lot of work with the COVID yeah. times. But and there's uh, been heaps more on Star Now now. Star Now now. A lot more auditions. Yeah, I've been yeah. asked to, the producer who was the producer on that uh short film that I auditioned for and I said the director was really weird and she didn't really right. know how to direct actors. Remember yeah, I okay, about yeah. that producer who's not, associated with her is asked me to do another project so okay. with her so that's cool yeah just things lining up and that's good picking up and that's good yeah i know, you know um a lot of television commercial stuff's happening as yeah. the world sort of gets somewhat back to normal as much closer to, as close to normal as it possibly can in australia uh with a couple of flare-ups in some states uh yeah, minus lots, Victoria. lots of uh lots of television commercial stuff coming through lots of briefs going to casting directors everyone's trying to catch up on all that work mm. 
glass. Exactly. Um, definitely, certainly is a recession in Australia. That's for sure. It's just kind of how bad is it going to be? Yeah. And common in advertising circles, you know, those companies that continue to advertise throughout a downturn mm. um, absolutely come out of it a lot better, oh, a lot yeah. faster. So, so tell so, us about your insurance one. Yeah, yeah, well, I will. Because the, the thing with the television commercials mm. is they're so quick to turn around. Yeah. And with so many briefs going out, they're like, I've had two auditions in the last three weeks. Um, and that's not including, yes, that's not including the television commercial I finished with uh, 136, which is a production company I've worked with before, I think, yes, on something. And uh, they did the casting themselves as a production company. I can remember we talked about that. Um, but this time went through an agent. Oh, Actually, yeah. the last time yeah. it was direct, I uh, got them through the online platform. So, um, look, it was a good day. I mean, it's just so fast. It's like I was saying when we were interviewing Jack and Jacob last week. It's like mm-hmm. it was, it's so quick. It's like a short film on steroids because you've got full crew, you've got another room where the you know the client sits in, whether it's ad, yeah. ad agency, probably the marketing manager for the brand, mm. and you're mic'd up, and that's a hot mic the whole time. So whatever yeah. you say is going straight into that room and resonating around their heads, so make sure oh, it's positive. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> Why, is don't be that guy. To tell? Is there a story to tell? <laughs> and and, and uh, yeah, so I've got the director who had the telephone call mm. to get an, on speaker to get feedback live from the room in inverted commas Why, where, where the where monitor was because they're in a separate room to oh, watch the oh, monitor right. yeah, 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 with yeah, the okay. client and everything watching the monitor feed and listening to the sound yeah. so they can help provide some feedback via the phone connection to the director mm. who's there and you can literally hear them going um oh he's shouting the line about shell like make sure he's like he's animated but he's not shouting at her he's just you know it's important to him. And they're like, okay, yeah, got it, got it. And then by the time, you know, the director says something to me, it's like, yeah, okay, mm. we're ready to go. And um, it's just, it can be unnerving at first when you've got all these different voices yeah. talking about what you've just done yeah, and how you translate those notes into a constructive way to give them what they want. Because sometimes they're telling you direction mm. and it's not, if you take it literally, it's not going to help you. Yeah. But you can tell what they want from what they've said and you can then adjust in a different way yeah. to be able to give them what they want. And sometimes they don't know until they see it. So there was a few things I threw in there that kind of worked. Bear in mind, the whole time this is happening, I'm supposed to be fixing this bike and I've got no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> like, I take my you. bikes to the shop. I've got, no, yeah. got no idea. So I'm there with this Allen key and I'm try- I said to them, I said, mate, you want to... Like- piercing you will the tire want, or something <laughs> you will want to get this bike serviced when i finish with it because i don't think we've got any front brakes because i'm <laughs> with the front brakes all the time. Oh, no. so i basically spent the whole two hours undoing it another two hours doing it back up again so oh, i don't know fine. i don't know Indica i do I, I do remember this, like, my first audition and first role in screen was a foxtail commercial and i the directors were there in the room but they were kind of behind a screen right um, and I remember like I had to hold an iPad and they had a shot over my shoulder Yeah. and they're like, can you just move your right thumb slightly? Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> like it, it was, it's, and it feels really weird for you, perfect, but, yeah. but it, on camera it looks like, yeah, the kid's watching an iPad. It's great. Exactly. And uh, it was, a good, I wasn't watching anything. Actually, and we were on location. So to add another element Beautiful. into it, um, you're dealing with weather, chasing the light, good all catering. that sort of stuff. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I mean, I left before lunch, but it's it was all set. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, chasing the light and that sort of thing, like yeah, to, right. for continuity. So it's kind of like we've got to do another three different shots. Yeah, and we're running out of time, so just don't you know, don't muck up. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> because yeah. we're literally everyone's like braced, ready to run yeah, as soon as each setup's such finished. A big thing. Yeah, exactly. Um, so yeah, look, it was really good. So good crew, fast crew. Um, I was working with Tamarind, who was great as my wife. Uh, I had a I had a kid who's now of driving age, yeah, which yeah, is yeah. Uh, very <laughs> difficult to get used to. How is he? Jesus Christ! Great. I mean, it's extra work for the two guys because his mate. The the premise was his mate drives up, my son walks out. Hey, dad, you know, wave, um, and then in the car off they go, and I'm like, wow, you know, hate to be Nick and his family. How bad. You know, blah, blah, Not mm. that. That is not the line. Right. Yeah, but it's, yeah. you know. Um, How old was he imagine, actually? Imagine what Nick is going through. Yeah. Okay. And since his father's diagnosis. What if that was us, Shell? I feel like we should think about life insurance. That's kind of the gist of it, right? Mm. Are you allowed to say this? Yeah. It'll be, it's probably on air now. Um, they what? generally have a quick Didn't turnaround. Like a week ago. Yeah, no, fast oh, turnaround. I want to see it. Because yeah, generally <laughs> the production is, is like, it's close. 
So it was a speaking role. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. So it was, yeah, I've, I've, well, it's different. Okay, so the thing with television commercials, you can't get a word wrong. Okay, this has gone through committee no. after committee. Yeah. And every word is there for a reason. The 90 second version obviously has a few more words. The 60 second version has the most amount of words that are all changed around a bit. Mm. So it's similar, but not the same. Yeah. And then the 30 second, like you can just look, you can just look at it and go, okay, I've got that line. Yeah. No yeah. worries. Yeah. So yeah, it's like one line. Isn't the, it? the challenge once you've memorized the ninety is to to be able to push a sixty out hmm. because you've got to work on your timing because it's time to the second each frame. Yeah, and then it's got to it's got to it's just it's a mind fuck because <laughs> it, like just thinking about it now, my whole mind has just gone back to the moment and I'm In getting fact. shakes. I need a drink, yeah. but uh, no, because because basically once the the, the, the time's gone you've got to be able to deliver your line she's going to deliver her line it's all going to fit in and they give you direction like oh well um, it sounded really fast you've got to slow it down but we're a second over time mm. Mm. right okay. okay so let me let me just take that um, because and because the words were the same words you've used in the 90 second but in different mm. way because it's shortened yeah right You've got to get it spot on, but then you want to say what you've memorized for the 90 and all that sort of stuff. It's all a bit yeah. in my head. You know, how, my small little brain was struggling. How old was your son, the actor, actually? Like, how old was he? He was playing like 16 years old. 17, wasn't he? I think. Oh, no, cool. he's driving. So, yeah. It was a bit uncomfortable because normally, I think the oldest on screen child I've had was an 18 year old 50. who was playing like a 13 year old or something. Yeah, right. Which which I an eighteen year old playing a thirteen year old. Yeah, which I Jeez. well they needed they needed to be able to. Oh, that's so funny. Well, it happens a lot because I know it happens a lot. Yeah, because they they had two days to shoot yeah. and they needed to use her quite a lot. Yeah, and they can't have a child because they have the and yeah. So with the age yeah. restrictions, work yeah. restrictions around age, if she was younger than eighteen. You'd only be able to use them for four did hours she, at the time. Did she look thirteen? Yeah, totally. Yeah, really. Looked young. Yeah, yeah. And wow. I think on camera it looked because sometimes really you watch young. film or TV and short. So it's like, yeah, wow. sometimes you watch film and TV, and obviously they've cast like twenty-five year olds playing high school kids. Yeah, seventeen year olds, and sometimes you're like, you like you got to di- like d- uh, suspend your disbelief, mm. don't you? Because mm. like sometimes it just does not. It look does not. Like no, it. I know. No, well, I, I'm, I'm coming to terms with having kids at all, really. Just, uh, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> little alone ones that can drive. Oh my god! Um, but anyway, no, it's cool because, uh, well, it was a couple of years ago. I was having eight-year-olds uh, as your on, kid. Yeah, a bit better. <laughs> now it's jumped to double. <laughs> Just in two years, it's jumped by ten years. Oh, oh god. my god! Oh my god! That's... They'll be older than me. In another two yeah. years. <laughs> Your kids will be <laughs> older than you on screen. That's so stupid. Oh, my God. I had another audition for a television commercial. Um, I'm not going to say... Last time I said I don't think I got it, and I got it. That was the one, the life insurance. To but uh, yeah. So, I don't think I got it. Uh, <laughs> for a television manufacturer. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Uh, walk in the room and look amazed. So, no lines. Just walk in the room. You're going to look amazed. Show, show me look your amazed. amazed face. So, you're walking in with your child... Yep. Small child, okay, all right. She's about five. Okay. And we're walking in and you're crouching down. Wow, wow, look, oh, wow. And then, <laughs> then, because the, then, you're, you're in an empty room, right? <sighs> and behind the camera and... <laughs> oh, you're self-taping? Going, Is it self-taping? No, no, I'm in the room. You're going in the room. And, she, and she's like, okay, now look over here. Now look over, okay, don't smile. Now look, and now you're looking over here and you're following the hand. You go, oh, look at that. Wow, wow. You know, and you're looking... Fantastic without looking too crazy. Um, and, and then, okay, thank you very much. So <laughs> and then she kind of, we had a bit of a joke because we're talking about marketers and advertising and stuff because um, obviously I used to be on the other side in corporate world. And, uh, you know, all these brands are all about, you know, how important they are for their brand messages and their brand strategies and then they're just half price at the end of the island supermarket anyway <laughs> and uh she yeah. said she said look you know it's probably going to come down to just what the whatever the look is and i said yeah no worries as opposed to how amazing my amazing that's what she look just is. said yeah look it's gonna come down to what because you, you know what it's like they'll she, recommend this... half a dozen and the client will be there with the agency and they'll be like yeah no nah, don't like that one so yeah, this I like was, that one this was in the room yes because that's uncommon at the moment uh right? it's getting more common um, is this for your agent as well? Yes. Yeah, right. uh, it's getting more common, uh, but I have to say, really top notch. Like, you didn't feel unsafe at all. Mm. You, you had all the notes beforehand, 
any forms you had to fill out, like wardrobe, for example, uh, is automated. So you don't, you just through an app on your phone. Yeah, yeah. So you scan a QR code or you press OK yeah. on, the, on the email. Clever. You fill out the paperwork, done. It's actually easier than turning up and trying to do all that stuff with yeah. my left-handed writing anyway. Yeah, and, I mean, they should uh, have it virtually now, shouldn't they? So to talk you through the COVID uh, casting, turn up after submitting the form, scan a QR code at the entrance, mm -hmm. look at the note that says, please only come up when your time is so that you're not, not too many people in the room. Um, no Rose walked up uh, there was someone to greet take a headshot um, take some details down he was wearing a mask mm -hmm. and we were apart and took my temperature then once I was cleared <laughs> move into the waiting room where you've got literally like chairs at, at, on the four corners of the room sort of thing yeah, like no yeah. one's close to anyone and there was only one other person no there was two people waiting when I got there and one went straight in and the good thing is everyone's running to time all of a sudden before you'd be waiting for like 40 yeah, minutes for your 5 minutes so late we're too. running late we're running late now they're so punctual because they have to be yeah so and then bang I'm in and then I'm out again so I mean it's all you know it's 5 minutes in the room it's TVC oh, so, casting yeah. but it's great that we've adapted so quickly because we have to to, to yeah. you know there's only so many animated ads you can have now we've yeah, got to yeah. stop drawing and have real people on camera again um so that's good. And voiceovers busy. Voiceovers have been consistent. I have good. to say the bills are being paid all year thanks to voiceovers because it's um, I really feel for actors. Like at the moment, although work is starting to pick up mm. and we're better than most countries, let's be honest, um, it's still not, not we need, nowhere near normal. Having said that, uh, this week is the start of actual production on set for that $150 million Lane Moriarty yeah, flick. The that Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman's producing with mm. Blossom Pictures, her, her production company. Started filming in Byron Bay this week. They confirmed Sunday was the confirmation of the main cast. I saw that. Huge. Oh, that is. Oh, there's the budget. Big, big, yeah, that's it. They all, they're actually filming without cameras. I'm kind of, <laughs> on iPhones. I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of hoping that over the eight episodes mm. they're still casting, you know, supporting cast and and cool. that you know, I'd love to go out to Byron for a walk on part, but uh, yeah. I know there's also a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. A lot of people being cast locally for featured extra stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because to transport people up there and that sort of stuff, like in the old days, great. But now with COVID, oh, it's difficult. It's the, the old, old days, days now, like, isn't it? like December. Um, <laughs> it feels like so long ago. It's oh, crazy, God, right? It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I said no to a job. I, I turned a job down. Uh, ah. Do you remember I did that corporate job where I was chief cleaner and had to do that presentation to camera? Yeah, I think so. Um, and it was just basically me reading an auto cue, blah, blah, blah. Mm. And mm. then doing lots of B-roll of me walking around with this machine to yeah, clean. Okay. Which is kind of like a gun of Star Wars. That was pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> My animation, you know. Pew, pew. Of course. Uh, um, but no, I was professional mm -hmm. <laughs> most of the time. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then from that, uh, the production company I hadn't worked with before, uh, mm. Mark. Mark pays it. He was great. Switched on. He's done it a million times. And uh, he gave me a call and he said, oh, look, you know, the, they'd like an intro. Because he, knew, he knows I do voiceovers. Like, yeah, no dramas. So I gave him a quote. We did it. Sent it away. Brilliant. Mm. Gives me a call this week. Says, uh, oh, look, you know, the owner's going to get a few people together and do some photo shoots for some stills to use in advertising and also to build up the website. Um, and they want you to be the manager again and just be there, you know, featured in the shot, directing a few staff around or whatever, and walking around just looking like you're cleaning and you know what you're doing. And uh, fine. Um, what I did was I said, here's my quote and... Not just for the time of the day, obviously it's probably half day mm. for that, uh, but also to have those shots on the website for twelve months. Mm -hmm. What happens after that twelve months just rolls over, so there'll be another X amount for another yeah. twelve month period. Yeah, because and he certainly appreciated it because it happens all the time. It's professional, you know. What I have to put a time limit on because if I'm being approached for some other cleaning product or cleaning thing mm. or whatever. I've got to declare that I'm on this website as the face of yeah. X. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I've got to put a time limit on it. So how did you know? Because otherwise, quote? it's in perpetuity. Experience. You just knew that. I, I he was fine with it. Absolutely fine with it. Put it to the client. The client came back and said no because they don't want to keep paying that rollover fee. Because I've done it with a business before where it was a financial business, and because I I can't do that all. I mean, it's it's on a website. It's probably mm. not huge, but you do say, Still "Look, I'm that, there," yeah. you know, um, because you can't do other financial yeah. websites and stuff like. It's a bit tricky. 
And so, and that was fine. I rolled over a couple of years. It was I think it was on the site for three years, then off. So great, no worries, no harm, yeah. no foul. Um, but so I think it's important not to get pressured because I could have easily just said, here's the quote. And I okay, well, that's fine. Then they can use those photos in perpetuity. So they can yeah. use it forever. Yeah. Um, otherwise. So the first concern is they've got your pics and they, they use that. That's their asset and that belongs to them and they can use it forever and a day. Yeah. And you have to get permission to use it. And and the other concern is, well, you want to keep getting paid for the for what you're doing. You're still selling their products on their site yeah. for them. Yeah. For each of the years you're not getting paid. Yeah, yeah. So it's, there's a couple true. of big things. I don't think people understand that. No, and I think it's important to know because especially as up and coming, you can sell your soul for an ice cream as an actor, you know what I mean? And a, and a, and a, and a, and a, and a soft drink and uh, <laughs> yeah, and lunch, let's yeah, be honest, you know, lunch. and 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 years down the track, um, they can absolutely use you again, that what they've already, what they've already got um, yeah. again yeah. For, for their advertising. Interesting. So, I mean, the business side isn't super sexy, uh, but I mean, if you're going out there on no, your own and course. getting some work in addition to your agent, mm. um, and we're talking about stuff that falls between the cracks and that, that might not specialize in lots of corporate work or that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, absolutely. Go for it. But just be aware of what you're... And even like, it doesn't have to be a huge contract. Just even in an email, in writing, to say, yeah, just black and, and this is the rate, and this is for three months usage on Facebook and whatever it is. Yeah. yeah. Um, because you don't want to turn down these opportunities, but you also don't want to be surrounded by all these opportunities. No, and they're just yeah. making absolute money out of you. Um, and you're not, you you're not paid, getting... Yeah. yeah. So a, g- a good start is to look at the type of paperwork uh, with the local union or industry affiliation, you know, just to get some advice there. Yeah. Uh, they've got rate guides. They've got rate... <laughs> Fred, Freddy. front talk. They've got rate cards and also... Um, have some of the contracts as well so you could just sort of so you could sort of you can print the print out the contracts and sort of just put your name on it so it's a template basically which yeah. is great so it was it's a lot happening i'm pretty excited yeah sounds good sounds busy it's good and oh, pretty coming up this week i've just got oh, i've got boring stuff to do like i've got to update my cv with all the stuff mm-hmm. i've been doing mm-hmm. and i've got to i want to update my show reel again now yeah. with the interrogation in it oh, yeah. and just just sort of spruce it up at the start Mm. Um, for those that don't get through the first 20 seconds and just make sure that it's on all the profiles and I've got up-to-date Perfect. stuff on, on everything because I've, I've been so busy lately. Like I'm, so I, no, I've sort of taken my eye off that. Yeah. And you don't want to be that guy where, you know, they click on a link and they want to use you and the link doesn't work or something. Yeah. You know, yeah, that wouldn't be fun. Would not be fun. Having said that, there's some stuff coming, uh, some industry stuff coming out again and I'm going to a screening of a movie with a Q&A afterwards with the director my I'll talk film. about it more in next week. Yeah, because I forgot about it. Yep. Um, but <laughs> um, but so some stuff is starting to land again, and cool. and even at the cinemas, like I went to see Unhinged. I did. Yeah. I did Gold Class because I thought, what the hell? They're doing. Yeah, half, I saw that. They're doing half price. They were doing half price. Which Are they is still great. doing half price? I think so because they're trying to yeah. encourage people to come back. Yeah, I kind of want to go. And you know, this, the the movie offering isn't super strong because a lot of global releases have been pushed back or mm. gone to video on demand mm. because they can't release like cinemas are closed in many states in America. Yeah. And we're here ready to go to the cinemas. So yeah. we had Unhinged. Uh, there was a couple of others. Oh, that's the Russell Crowe one. Yeah, yeah. Was it um, good? Yeah, yeah. It was six out of ten. Bizarre six idea, out of ten. isn't it? Well, I've seen Falling Down. Yeah, okay. With, which is great. Have you seen Falling Down? No. You Who's have to see that. Michael Douglas. Okay. Um, just fantastic. Mm-hmm. The guy is having a bad day and he's a guy who likes things all organised. You know, oh, he's okay. having, and it just gets out of control and one wrong... It just keeps getting... And he can just... It, the tension is growing every time you, you see mm. um, something bad happen to the guy. Yeah. And it just gets inflamed to this point where he's this ordinary guy in extraordinary situations, mm. which just go from bad to worse to ugly. Yeah, right. So Unhinged, I had that in mind when I looked at Unhinged. It's just a bit more full on. Yeah, okay. The violence isn't in your face. Yeah. But when it happens, it's, it's quite shocking. And you could sort of relate to some of it. Mm. Like it's just, it's a bit... It's it's definitely road ragey, but hey, it's not like Mad Max road rage. But yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, I don't know. More it was cool. It was good. Like it held it held my attention. It was oh, great. I'm sure the wine helped as I was kicking back yeah, there in yeah, gold yeah. class. You know, oh, looking like a boss. What does that make them? What like twenty bucks? So I paid, and this is Australian, okay. So it's probably like what fifteen dollars American. Twenty one dollars for the ticket, half price, mm. to sit in my lovely recliner. Nice. Nine dollars fifty for a nice glass of wine. It's Always improves the movie. 
that was my reintroduction to the uh, COVID world of movie going. Very nice. Uh, I've never been to Gold Class. Haven't you? (gasps) I still have to go. I think now's a good time if it's half price. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I think it's a great idea too to get people back. And then when you do book online, they've blocked it so that when you book, the the seats around you and your party, like if you're going with three people or four people, you can book your seats together, but then around you automatically... Very cool. Adjusts to yeah. It's I don't like just, people next to me anyway. That's well, perfect. <laughs> so the co- you're suited world. to COVID world. Yeah. Oh my god, this is for you. Yeah, legit though. But uh, <laughs> so so yeah, so it makes it really easy, and yeah. they've got lots of hand sanitizer. I tell you what, the movies and the cinemas have never looked this clean. Really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like you know, you're not sitting on dirty popcorn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> it's the way it used to be. That's good. When people used to tidy up after themselves. Oh, God. Yeah. So, it's pretty cool. So, like, we're slowly... It feels like we're getting back to normal. I feel like I'm slowly, pretty yeah. busy now. That's good. Everything's sort of pumping along. It's just dot the I's, cross the T's, hang on and hope. Me too. The yeah. usual. Yeah, 100%. And uh, it's a lot of fun. We'll hope, hopefully have some interviews lined up yes, soon. Yes, uh, Because more. it was a lot of fun. Especially last week interviewing Jack and Jacob, although it was heavy on the editing because Fred was barking like crazy. We were barking the whole time. Oh my God. I think Jacob was looking at him like he wanted to kill you at one stage, Fred. Yeah. In his mind going... So the what podcast, would, it's just going to jump. It's yeah. going to skip. <laughs> in his mind, he's going, what would Stephen King do? Fred, here's the microwave. No, that's horrible. Don't say that. Fred, the pincushion. No. Oh, that's horrible. <laughs> oh no, Freddie! Look what you—it's just crazy. He really didn't like Jack. No, he really did not. He was. He didn't like me the first time he met me. Either. That's true. That's true. Did I have Jack. to. We've learnt that uh, if you look closely <laughs> at the YouTube, you'll see Sam feeding him treats, feeding oh, Fred treats closely? while we're trying. You'll see it from a mile. I'm like. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. I've learnt, yeah, big treats for Fred, and that'll keep it. But then he knew, so he's, he was like. He's he was ready. And if still I didn't do it fast enough. He's eating the first enough, treat and he's there waiting for the next treat. And if I didn't do it fast enough, he'd bark even louder. He's got you trained well. I'm Max. I'm Sam. We are Two Unemployed Actors. Uh, make sure you tune in next week. Tune in. Bye. Two Unemployed Actors.